Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Glitchcraft. You'll notice as I look around that I'm not in that village that I left off in in the last episode. And the reason for that is two words, Windows 10. Actually, three words, Windows fucking 10. Seriously, they, it just glitched on me. Sir, or it glitched. Wait, what the hell? It still has my waypoints in here, and it's probably not accurate. Ha! <laughs> um, yeah. That's freaking weird. Come on. Anyways, uh, new waypoint. Spawn. We'll set you up a little bit higher. Eight. Boop. There. Now I have a spawn point at or as a waypoint at spawn and I can start looking around but uh, yeah so uh, Microsoft really needs to fix their remote desktop server in Windows 10 because it totally doesn't fucking work it glitches out it crashes now this is my gaming PC it is my big honking powerful gaming PC yes we have fireworks with the achievements I want to figure out how to turn that off. Um, yeah, this big, my big honking gaming PC is my powerhouse PC. I use it for obviously gaming and for video editing and like image editing and vector graphics and that kind of stuff. It's not something I do often at work, but it's something I do often enough that I need at least access to a PC. I have no idea how to turn that off, by the way. Not a freaking clue. It's annoying as shit, honestly. It was cool, like, the first time, and then the second time, it totally wasn't. <laughs> and it's just gotten annoying since. But, uh, what was I saying? Holy shit, I totally forget what I was saying. Hmm. But, yes. Uh, PC, PC, PC. So, I've built... Or, uh... Yeah, so the gaming PC that I have, I use remotely at work. So I have access to the power of the PC, but I don't have access or direct access to it. So I can just uh, go home or I can go to work, go, oh, hey, I need to edit this vi or this image or I need to do this vector graphic thing. I just remote desktop into my PC at home and I have access to all its horsepower. It works. And the Windows 10 remote desktop works surprisingly well. It's smooth. It's it's a little weird because if you lose connection, you instantly know you lose connection. But then it instantly gets the connection back. So it's, it's like you're working and you're working and you're working. It goes black, disconnected, and then it reconnects. Like instantly. So it's a, it's a, it's a bit strange, but it's something that I can tolerate. I mean, I would I I like the idea of Microsoft letting me know pretty much instantly that I've disconnected from a remote desktop. So I'll accept that. However, when I try to reconnect, or uh, let's see, what what's the entire process? I'm trying to do two things at once. I'm concentrating on what I'm making and all this other shit. Because, yeah. I'm just going to gather up a little few resources while I bitch about Windows 10. And then I will go about doing what I intended on doing today. But uh, I'll remote desktop into my PC at home from work. Then I'll come home, open up the computer, and log in. And what happens every once in a while... The screen will be black after I log in, and I'll just have the mouse, and that's it. That's all it does. It just sits there at a black screen and becomes completely unresponsive. The mouse moves. The screen is black. I can't do shit. Nothing. Once, I was able to control, delete, sign out, sign back in, and it worked. And once, so far, if I let it sit there for a couple of minutes, it worked. But for the most part, it locks up, it stops responding to any input whatsoever, and I have to hard reboot. Well, that annoys the shit out of me. 
I'm sure you can understand why. I'm in the middle of doing something, and you know, I close out at work, come home to finish doing what I'm doing, and I lost what I was doing because I had to reboot. <sighs> well, today I double or I logged in remotely from work, came home, logged in. It was a black screen, so I let sat there for a couple of seconds and waited to see if it cleared itself up. And what did it do? I heard the fan spin up. It was still a black screen, completely black screen. So I was just waiting to see if it did anything. And I heard the fan spin up. I'm like, you bastard. You just crashed on me, didn't you? It did. It crashed and it rebooted itself. It hard rebooted itself. No blue screen, no nothing. It just crashed. I'm like, you fuck. And when I started back up the computer, you know, I started... I did my thing. Everything seems to be working. And then I went to log in and play a little bit of Glitchcraft that I had been playing. And I do kind of feel bad that I hadn't been recording. But I had been playing it just mostly for stress relief, basically. Just for the fun of it. I didn't really want to feel the stress of recording. So I was just playing with it. Having some fun with it. And uh, I opened up the client... And the client takes a couple of minutes to load itself. And I went to connect into the server and it said, you know, not responding. I'm like, okay, opened up MC my admin. And yeah, it wasn't started. So I went to start it. And it just kind of sat there. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? And then I actually read the log <laughs> of what it said. And it said, this lock file is, you know, in use or something like that. And I'm like, what the backup lock or what did it say the backup world log file or something like that was in use and it refused to finish booting uh, and it says type in this command to you know finish booting or boot in, in or anyways or whatever I typed in the command nothing happened so the world was corrupt so I, and I couldn't start it so I'm like fucking windows 10 crashes on me kills my world bastards and what's worse is MC my admin doesn't back up. Uh, I I don't know if it's a thing with Windows 10 or if it's just specifically my PC, but MC my admin won't back up on a schedule. But if I back up manually, it works. Hello, sheepy. If there were three of your friends, I would kill you and make a bed. But I only see one of you. I'm gonna kill you anyways, just so I have the wool. So if I find two of your friends. I can kill them and make a bed. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing, basically. Um, so I found out another neat little thing. So I went to start recording on the New World. The... What? Mystical Brown Flower. Whatever. Uh, went to start recording in, an, in this world... Just for, you know, just so I could start recording again and everything like that. And every time I moved the mouse, it jerked and looked down. So I would look up, look around, and it would jerk and look down again. And I would look up, and I could get it so that it would stay steady, but it would, like, jerk around like mad, and it was kind of nauseating. I can't even replicate it with, the, with what I have. And I'm like, what the shit is going on? I looked it up online, and apparently it's a problem with the mouse... Minecraft and the resolution interacting with each other weird. I'm like, well, that's unusual as I'll get out. I had set my resolution to 4K. So I have a 4K G Sync monitor, 28 inch. So I tend not to run it in 4K because that's just too high a resolution. I can't read the text. It's annoying as shit. So. I turned it up just for the fun of it a little while ago, and uh, it didn't look like it changed. So I thought it was just Microsoft auto-updating its DPI settings or something like that. Windows 10 tends to be pretty good at doing that, where it will update its DPI. And uh, so you can see icons and text easier. So I thought that's what it was doing. And I kind of ignored it. 
until this problem came up, and I'm like, what's going on? This is annoying. This is wrong. This is bad. My first house. And, yeah. So, I, uh, I, I switched the resolution back to 1440. Uh, 2K, whatever the top number is, whatever the horizontal number is, I forget. But I set it back to that, and uh, I'm trying to remember what I need to do. It's been a little while. So I set it back to that, and it worked. Oop. That's a crafting station. It's a tool station. You know, and now I can record, and now I can continue where I meant to start off with the first time I recorded, and the mouse was all jerky. So, yeah, Windows 10 doesn't seem to understand the concept of ultra-high resolutions like 4K. So it's a bit weird. Yeah. Anyways, uh, there is a slight uh, advantage, I guess, to doing this. I have the ability to, uh, well, I'm losing my train of thought. I'm trying to do too many things at once. Uh, I have the ability to do what I meant to do before. I can explain to you guys how all of this crap works in Glitchcraft in case this ever actually becomes a public mod pack. I don't know if it ever will. I don't understand the mod pack rules. I leave that up to Zog. So I haven't heard from him in a very long time, but uh, yeah, he doesn't add me to Steam. I haven't haven't even seen Flame Online since, well, since before Glitchcraft, Glitchcraft came online. Hmm. I have four books now. All right, what else do I need? I need a pattern chest, so I need a chest. Bloop. And then one of them. Bloop. Yeah, I know, I have to worry about spiders and shit now because it's nighttime. But I do want to show you what's going on because this is the iguana mod or something like that. I forget what it's called. Yeah, I've got a stencil table, parts builder... Tool station. I think a tool station? What does a tool station do? Tool station does that. The parts builder. Yes, the parts builder is the next thing I need. And it's just a standard hunk of wood. And one of these blank patterns. Now that gives me my part builder. Bloop. All right, so these are the things that I need. Uh, iguana mod. <clears throat> I forget its full name. Uh, Hell Breacher was nice enough to point that out in the last episode that I did, that it's the Iguana mod. Yeah, it was Lizard. It was something close like that. And, you know, I, I, I was close to right, I guess. No, I want to do these one at a time. Oh, I need sticks. Uh, so the Iguana mod, I looked it up, and it's supposed to make the game harder. Okay, I could accept that. Uh, it's supposed to make the game harder. So what it does is force you to use Tinker's Construct and gives you the really impressive stuff really early on. That pattern chest isn't supposed to go to here. That's supposed to go with the tool station in it. Yeah, I think... I'm a little lost, and there's an Enderman around me. <clears throat> so, yeah, and I was really, really curious how I could possibly... Wait. No, this is the tool... I don't need... Uh, don't need the tool station. I need this guy, the part builder. The part builder goes next to the pattern chest because the part builder can access the pattern chest. Okay, so we'll put the patterns in the pattern chest. And then we'll start out by building this thing we need to build. Uh, 
you got to start out with a flint pickaxe because it's the only thing you can build right now. I think I just need one. So let's just do that. Let's just grab one. I need one flint and some wood, and that will make us our initial flint pickaxe. Yeah, flint pickaxe head, and then everything else can be wood, if I'm correct. Does it just need to be a stick? It does just need to be stick. So wood binding. We'll do something very, very simple initially. We'll just do the, 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 the wood and such. So wood tool rod, wood binding, and a flint pickaxe head. And then we put that stuff together. And it makes us our first pickaxe. See, I like that sound. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but you know what? It'll work. Uh, so we have our flint pickaxe. And if we hold shift, we can see what we have. So we have mining level stone, mining XP zero, skill XP zero, repair material flint, and durability, that kind of thing. Okay, so we are at stone level f for this pickaxe. So let's find us some... Um, decent place. Actually, you know what? Let us mark home, just real quick. Waypoints. Uh, new waypoint. Home. Save. I should just delete these other waypoints. Yeah, I'll fiddle with that later. <clears throat> Alright, that way I know how to get home. So let's look around for a really good place. Right there is a really good place to do this because it's got a lot of exposed stone. Or, you know, that cave right there. That might work. No. Nah. Water. I'll avoid mining in water if I can. No particular reason. I just avoid mining in water. But yeah, this cliff should work. Whee. Oh yeah, that'll work. Okay, so there is... Uh, coal right here. Boop. Uh, coal ore. Uh, harvest level copper. Okay. Uh, amber. Harvest level iron. Okay. So I can't get coal. If I try smacking at it, nothing happens. It progresses, but it won't pop. It'll break and stuff like that. But stone, I can pop and break. So I was asking... I asked this in the last episode. How, oh, how, oh, how do I get iron if it requires iron level to get? Like this copper here. Harvest level, copper. So I need copper to mine copper. And that confused the hell out of me for a little while until I looked it up. And, uh, you know, I wasn't really paying attention to the hints that the game was giving me. The hint... The game was giving me hints on how to deal with this. I just wasn't paying attention. And the hint given in the wiki was level up your pickaxe. It was a completely unrelated hint. It wasn't related to what I was looking for. It was just on the wiki somewhere. So I'm like, hmm, let's try that. So I sat there for a little while and did exactly this, where I'm just mining stone for extended periods of time. And every time I come across any kind of ore, I skip it. Because I couldn't do anything with it. So I just sat there and kept mining or stone and kept mining stone and kept mining stone. Let's see, what are we up to? 59 out of 175. And if I pop one, boop. 60 out of 175. So I need to do six or 175 total stone to do this, and I'm probably going to have to go back and fix my pickaxe before I can keep going. And I'm mostly just picking a place and digging because, well, right now there is no point in doing anything constructive, really, until I finish what I'm doing here. So, I don't know, should I just skip ahead until I'm actually close to doing this? I'll have to keep an eye on it, won't I? What are we up to? 94. Oop. And the pickaxe is getting kind of low. Though there is another little interesting thing, which I'll be able to show you before I get anywhere near 
maxing out those uh, levels. Come on. Come on. Now, unless I'm mistaken, there it goes. Okay, so see how I'm progressing a significantly slower now. The pickaxe on my hot bar has no bar underneath it, no damage bar. If I hover over it, it's a, or no, it's still flint, but the durability is zero. So I broke my pickaxe. But I still have my pickaxe, which is actually kind of cool. It means you don't have to worry about losing your pickaxe if you don't pay attention to the um, yeah, durability rating. So if you don't pay attention to durability and you lose all of your durability, you don't lose the pickaxe, it just stops working right. Which I like, because that means I could just wander on back home and fix it. So I have flint, or I have gravel on me, and I have to make flint because flint doesn't drop anymore. We go into our tool station, boop, repair, and you can see, you can actually see, if you look at the, uh, the, the, the picture of the pickaxe, you can see that it's different. So if I put that in there, you can see it has points now. So the flint pickaxe picture breaks, which is kind of cool, actually. I like that. Is there anywhere closer I could really dig into? I guess in here I could dig into. Make my little initial cave slightly bigger. Whee. Of course I have to still just dig crap. And it takes its sweet time. This is what it's the um, iguana mod like I said, was supposed to make Tinker's Construct harder. It didn't really make it harder. It made it mandatory. And I've always thought Tinker's Construct was a little OP. If you, like, dive straight into it quickly, you could totally devastate, like, everything with Tinker's Construct because it's just too damn OP. Of course, that's why Iguana Mods exists because it's too damn OP. And the guy who made it wanted to make, you know, Tinker's Construct a little harder to get into. I'm out of food. This may qualify as a problem. I haven't seen sheep around. I have enough cobblestone. I can make a uh, furnace. Boop. And fern eye are useful to an extent. Boop. Will that give me enough? Yeah, that'll give me enough. And then I'll use the charcoal that it creates to make uh, eight more. Boop. There we go. And that'll get me some charcoal so I can get some torches and I can get uh, I can cook some food and I hear a sheep around here. There you are. You're a tree sheep. There we go. That gives me some wool. And that gives me some mutton. Whee. And look, poop. Again, not sure what poop does. I think it makes fertilizer, but you have to make the fertilizer. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. How much mutton do I have? Six. Can I find more? That way I can cook it up. I don't hear anything. Hmm. Come on, I just want to finish what I was doing. Explaining what I was explaining. Because it's a little strange as fuck. I have so much cobblestone right now. Let's just make another furnace so I can make some food. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. All right, and I should make myself some chests. Boop, boop. Yes, I have... What mod is that? Gary's... Or... Ganny's? Janny's? Surface? I don't know. 
gives me all the different types of chests. I tend to just leave it as the regular chest. It's easier for me to recognize and, in my opinion, looks better. So I just kind of go with that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's make me up some torches real quick. So I can light up my environment and not have to worry about mobs spawning. Do I have food? I have food. Yay! All right, and let's start putting some of this crap away. Because I have just too much stuff in my inventory. Oh, I had apples. I could have eaten the apples, I guess. Ooh, let's take care of that real quick. Make me a bed. No, I need the wood first. I'll plunk you down there. You'll work there for now. Bloop. Yay! Another mutton chop. I don't want the books in my inventory. I'll be reading them later, so at least I know where they are. Anything else? I don't care about the black wool. One of the white... Oh, no, I killed three white sheep, didn't I? I was going to say, one of the white sheep dropped two? No, I just killed that many white sheep. Put my flint pickaxe where I like it. The reason I like my flint pickaxe there now is because I can do this. So I, if you use Tinker Construct Tool and you right-click with the Tinker's Construct Tool, you use the item that's in your inventory directly to the right of the tool. And I like that. It's so I can be uh, mining away and just plunk down a torch and not have to worry about scrolling up to the next one or moving my hands away from the keyboard and finding numbers and crap like that. It's just easier. I like it that way. Where are we here? We are 162 out of 175, so we are close, and that's a creeper, and I have a wooden sword. <laughs> it's probably not going to end well. Now my face itches. Come here, creeper. I also have no armor. Maybe this guy will drop. <laughs> Boom! Well, that didn't hurt too much. All right, continuing on with what I was doing. Plunk. Plunk. Kind of wasting torches here, aren't I? Spiders! String is incredibly useful here. All right, so moving forward, let's see if we can get our, our flint pickaxe up a level. There it goes. Okay. You begin to feel comfortable handling the flint pickaxe. Perhaps holding onto it will bring you luck. Plus 100 luck. Uh, more bling for your thing. Okie dokie. So if we look at the flint pickaxe, we can see that my mining, or yeah, skill level is now comfortable instead of clumsy. But my mining XP is still 175 out of 185, so I got a little ways to go, but we're getting close. Ooh, but you can see as I'm swinging, there's a blue on the bottom because I got luck added on. When I got my uh, comfort level up, my skill level up on the pickaxe, it added a mod. There it goes. Uh, yeah, it added a random mod to my pickaxe. So now I have, it's like if I put 100 lapis on my pickaxe. So now that we've leveled up, uh, it says, uh, suddenly a flash of light shines from the tip of your flint pickaxe, plus one mining level. So if we look at my flint pickaxe now, it says mining level copper. Mining XP boosted, skill level comfortable, uh, blah, 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 blah. So I, I, I leveled the flint pickaxe up to copper. Now I can get copper. Eee. That's how you're supposed to get stuff. You're not supposed to get the copper before you get the copper. You're supposed to level up your pickaxe so you can get the copper. So now I can get coal. 
Oh, and you notice that it dropped two. Like, I, I popped five, and I have seven now. So I have luck. So it's like I have fortune on my pickaxe. Because I leveled up. Leveled it up. Now, you'll notice that uh, it says skill level comfortable, skill XP 41 out of 289. I can keep leveling it up. There's four or five levels for a pickaxe to level it up to the whole way. I got really, really lucky. The first time I did this, back before Windows 10 ate my world, I uh, had... Uh, I got moss on my pickaxe. <laughs> So it repaired my pickaxe. So I didn't have to run back and keep putting flint in my pickaxe to repair it. It was really cool. Uh, and it is so super easy to get mossy cobblestone in this world. Well, okay, in the last world. I don't know about this one yet. I haven't explored it. But because of a few of the uh, biomes in this world, in, in this version of, or in this mod pack, that's the word I was looking for. Because of a biome in this mod pack, that I think actually exists in the new version, of, newer versions of Minecraft, because this is uh, 1.7 Minecraft, I think. Uh, I think that biome exists in in the newer versions of vanilla Minecraft. So, yeah. <laughs> but it's so easy to get uh, mossy cobblestone. Thus, it's so easy to get moss. So installing mods on my pickaxe, which for the record, every skill level you get, you get one modifier. So it now says modifiers remaining one. So now I could put moss on my pickaxe if I you know, had moss to put on my pickaxe. I don't right now, but that's okay. Do I have anything in here? Do I have to worry about? Boop, boop, boop. Let us repair, or yeah, let's repair my pickaxe, and boop, boop, no, you go there, boop, 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 no, not, mm. there we go. So I do have copper, so if I had a, uh, Tinker's Construct Forge, I could use that copper. I cannot, oops, I cannot use a regular, full, or I can't use uh, the furnace to make, uh, to cook copper. You can't. That That's something that was removed in the iguana mod, uh, so I have to use Tinker's Construct stuff. The easiest way to do that, I've found, is to find a village. So, we should go exploring a bit. Ow. Ow. Thank you. Did you drop anything useful? You dropped a bone. And yeah, mystical brown flower. These flowers are everywhere. I'm not worried about gathering them. Alright, so let us explore. The map is utterly worthless at this moment. Because it's going to change as I explore things. But let's see if we can find a village. The last world I was in, I swear to God, was nothing but savanna, deserts, and mushroom biomes. Endless, endless mushroom biomes. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous to the point of annoyance until I remembered you could get leather from uh, mushrooms. So I just kind of went on a killing spree, killed all of the mushrooms, and got all of the leather. <laughs> so I didn't have to worry about books and such, because I kept doing that. It was useful. Maybe, maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, this will happen again, and I'll be able to, you know, have a whole bunch of leather so I can have books, so I can enchant stuff. Because enchanting your armor is still useful. As far as I know, there's no special Tinker's Construct armor. And the stuff that's really better than iron is high-level stuff that's kind of hard to find. So there's no real point in making or worrying about higher-level stuff until then. Yeah. Whee. 
but you'll notice something and I've noticed this too, you'll notice that the world isn't flashing. So on the old world, uh, there were chunks that were flashing. It was due to uh, flowing stuff. So flowing water, flowing lava, that kind of thing would cause the chunk that the flowing water was in to flash. You'll notice that it's not doing that now. Oop, I need food. And I like the fact that it's not doing that because that means that it's not hurting my eyes. But you will also notice that every now and then it will jerk. I'll lose a whole bunch of frames. Like everything will pause for half a second and then jump to where it's supposed to be. That's annoying as shit. That's still there. But it's not that big of a problem, at least. Cows! I really need a sword, and I should really, really bring a, a crafting table and spare stuff. Oh, I guess I could have made a stone sword, huh? Because that iguana mod only affects tools. It doesn't affect weapons. So I can still use... I can still use the... Uh, Ooh, mods from, or I can still use the weapons. I can still use the sword. I can still use the bow from vanilla Minecraft. I just can't use the tools from vanilla Minecraft, which I still think is a little silly that it's supposed to slow you down in Tinker's Construct, but all it does is force you to use the super powered stuff. So it'll take a bit of time, but once I get far enough along, I will have crazy, crazy stuff. See, there we go. This is the... Well, no, that's the mystical forest, isn't it? Hang on, I'm in a river biome. Magical forest. Okay. Now, I really don't think this is in vanilla Minecraft, but there is another one. I forget what it's called, but it's the. it's got that weird, like, leaf, grass stuff, the different type of dirt block. Pazuli or something like that. Uh, that or that biome has a whole crap ton of ma or mossy cobblestone. So, you know, you get moss nine mossy cobblestone, you get, you know, one moss. So all you have to do is just run around, gather up a whole shit ton of mossy cobblestone, and you are set in Tinker's Construct. Wee. And your only limitation is how many mods you can put on your uh, tools. So basically how far you can level up. So I'll have to remember that this guy is here. So I can do this again later. Wee. A lot of mo or bad mobs around here. What are you? What the hell are you? Ectoplasm from random things. What are you used for? You can make specter glass, spirit binder, specter iron, fill ginto, flask of specter. I don't know. I really don't know. That's definitely interesting stuff. Mana beans from uh, Thompcraft. Yeah, I think this biome's from Thomcraft. It makes sense. Especially with the whole mana bean thing. And, uh, let's see, what kind of leaves are you? Oak leaves. No, they're from Minecraft. Hmm. Boop. So, this is a very interesting mod. Or mod pack. I really enjoy it. I really do. There's a few little things that I want to get fixed up, but for the most part, they are minor. We have the glitch here that's going on that freezes the game every once in a while. There was that thing that was causing the uh, chunks to flash, which turns out to be, I think, an SLI problem, honestly. Um, I upgraded my video card driver and reset SLI because 
NVIDIA likes turning off SLI on my computer for some reason. And all of a sudden, everything started working again. And then the next day, everything started flashing again, went back into the NVIDIA control panel, turned back on SLI, and all of a sudden, everything works again. I'm like, what the shit? Boop. Boop. Well, that answers that question. Can I pop you? Yes, I can. This is the tree that I was looking for because it has stuff underneath it. Ooh, a record, and it's uh, 13. Okay, I was like, it's cat. No, it's not. Standard binding agent. Uh, blood magic, alchemical wizard. Mm, whatever. I don't know. Might be useful later. Iron horse armor, bread, safari nets, insanely useful, and some dim lit thing that I don't know what the hell it is. But yeah, I went looking for that so I could attempt to make... Um, oh, now I lost my train of thought. Yeah, so I could attempt to make higher level tools to see if I could actually get the game to work as one would expect. Yeah, I kind of screwed myself there. Whoop. Where are all you mobs coming from? There's no caves around here. Is it just that dark underneath these trees? Come on. Thank you. Ooh, iron. Or steel leggings. These are powerful shit. God damn it. <sighs> All right. Well, I think that was a fun little introduction to it and, you know, a fun little explanation of how all this stuff works mm. for right now. I think I'm going to end the episode mm. here, but I'm going to keep exploring, see if I can find some Tinker's Construct stuff. Maybe I can find another cool village so I can make a living in. Ow. Ow. Poison Ivy. Ow. Am I going home? No, that way's home. Wait, how did I end up going... Ugh, I get so lost in this game. See you guys in the next episode, and as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.